Today we are sharing five reasons why so many people are moving to Hillsboro, Oregon right now, according to an article on simplefloorspdx.com. So I am going to just read through these reasons why these people are moving here. And then of course, we'll share our personal experience as relocation real estate agents working yeah. with people who are moving there as well. Great idea. And if you're new yeah. here to this channel, my name's Spencer. And I'm Mariah. And we are a top producing husband and wife real estate team here in Oregon. And we work with a lot of out of state relocation clients and we love it. It is our favorite thing ever. If that's you, if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate in Oregon, um, feel free to reach out. We'd love to work with you and help you through the process. Let's get a call um, set up on the schedule. Hillsboro, Oregon. What yes. made you like think about Hillsboro out of all the towns here in Oregon, but also the more northern you go in in Oregon. It's kind of right. like next to Washington, if you really think of it on, on the map. Right. What, well, what made you think of Hillsboro? Well, we have chatted about a handful of different towns. We've talked about a lot of different towns actually by now. Um, so if you are thinking about moving to Oregon and you're like, I don't know exactly where I want to move to, go to our channel and you can find a lot of different videos talking about different towns that are, you know, all around Oregon. However, we really never just talked about Hillsboro in particular, and I know it's one place that a lot of people are asking about. So I that's think really it's a why. great town, great city, and uh, it's growing too. And there's a lot mm -hmm. of expansion because it's like right on the edge, that boundary uh, before you hit that coastal highway, and then it probably goes outside of the urban growth boundary. So building, I mean, I don't know how much further out it could go. I see it going higher, a lot of more apartments, a lot of more yeah. condo, duplex living. Um, but ultimately, it is a clean, nice place to be, and I, yeah. I love Hillsboro. I, I yeah. really do. It's got I great activities and things to be doing up there too. One thing that a lot of my clients um, who have moved here from the past from the Southern California area, I've heard um, a handful of times is that Hillsboro really reminds them of that area. Like it kind of yeah. just feels more like that. I don't know if it's just because there's, there is more traffic than you're going to get, obviously Some, being in like Salem. Yep. Um, there's more traffic, more people in this area. Um, more, a little bit more to do, more going on, that kind of thing. You're close, mm -hmm. you're right outside of Portland, so you're close to the city. Also a little bit like cleaner, just like a nice town. A nice yeah, looking, and, and a lot of town. people that work at like the, the hospitals, OHSU and those yeah. type of things that are in Portland are going to be using these commute drives. Hillsboro is going to be one of these specific towns that a lot of these individuals that work that are employed in Portland will want to be living in. And it's definitely the west side. It's a west branch um, off of Portland and there's there's more concrete I would say there's really one main highway it's 217 but there's a lot of great connections that get you to highway 401 um, that are going to be a direct route that's going past the Oregon Zoo and I just think it's a really good opportunity if you're employed in Portland or that specific Portland area um, for for a great place to live and not have such a far commute for for your work and jobs right okay so let's get into these reasons the first one why so many people are moving here right now is outdoor recreation hillsborough is rich with outdoor recreation opportunities with nearly 30 parks to choose from a walk through the woods or a bench to sit and ponder while watching the sun Sparkle off the water is always just a few minutes away. The Parks and Recreation Department is very busy year round, hosting hundreds of events for people of all ages. And I don't think people realize how much hills or how many hillsides there actually are in Portland. I keep saying Portland, but this is yeah, this the, is a show. The it area, branches off area. of Hillsboro. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of hillside mm -hmm. communities as well yeah. that you can definitely go find a view, explore, but also find a, a nice sunset, have a picnic. Yeah. And then the, the residential housing in inventory up there, I mean, you can really find some beautiful, beautiful properties. That's very true. Reason number two is arts and culture. It's commitment to the arts and culture with the city's unique and diverse diverse makeup like a flower that blooms into the most vibrant colors. So has the arts and culture scene within Hillsboro. Um, Hillsboro Arts and Culture Council and the Hillsboro Public Art Program apparently do a lot of work there as well. And, I've, you know, I've actually heard that about a few different towns in, in Oregon. 
Um, especially Salem. You hear that all the time. Salem has a really big art community. Mm-hmm. Um, they, the art festival just happened downtown last weekend. It happens every year. I have a big art community here. Eugene, Bend. I mean, a lot of these towns you're going to hear that, but Hillsborough is another one where, yes, there's a, that art and um, arts and culture. Mm-hmm. Okay, the next one is commitment to public safety. In a recent local election, residents of Hillsborough overwhelming Lee voted to continue support for fire, police, and parks by 81% of the vote. Which, I mean, uh, this reminds me of the big news headlines, defund the police. Yeah. This is just an example, though, of how, no, let's not defund the police. Let's keep the community involvement because we understand how vital the police, fire systems, community centers are for us, the people. And, I mean, we do pay into that through our taxes by law. So why wouldn't we want to keep building these programs? And just like you said, it was an unanimous vote, and we're voting to just keep on continuing forward progress. Mm -hmm. A lot of families with children choose to move here for the education. Hillsborough has 35 schools currently operating, making it the fourth largest school district in Oregon with over 20,000 students attending K through 12 schools in the city. More than half um, of them ride to school on a bus. As a matter of fact, school buses in Hillsborough travel a combined 13,000 miles every day, taking students to and from their school uniquely There are nearly a hundred different countries of Oregon represented in Hillsborough's student body. I think that's really cool because Oregon isn't known as being the most diverse Mm -hmm. place necessarily. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously Hillsborough is somewhere where it is a little bit more. And that's where I think the the communities of, of the work systems, the employed, the entrepreneurs, the business owners that's where they kind of commingle and they hang out and be. And I think that's partly why there's such a diverse of right. origin right. in that area. And right. that is unbelievable, the amount of miles that the school system is putting on those bus lines. But transportation's amazing. Uh, you can use the, the tri-metro and then also the bus lines, but ultimately our school systems are, are by far, I would say, you're going to be in a better area up in the Hillsboro uh, side when it comes to public schools and the ratings. Mm-hmm. Okay, so lastly, the last reason why people are moving to Hillsboro is the location. You are about an hour and 20 minutes or so, give or take a little, depending on traffic from Salem, which is the capital of Oregon, and you're about 35 minutes, give or take, depending on traffic from Portland, and a lot of people just like that location. And then, of course, there's also a lot of different towns all along the outskirts in every different direction where there's things to do, places to go, places to eat places to take your family, fun activities. There's just a lot going on in different directions. And I couldn't talk about location without mentioning Seaside. That's going to be the coastal town you're going to want to be driving to from Hillsboro. And it's probably an hour and 10 minutes, I'd say, uh, heading west, which is not bad at all. And it's a beautiful scenery drive. And I personally like that coastal town. Um, Seaside's a lot of fun. Out of the majority of our coastal towns available. Me too. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, if you are thinking about relocating to our area, feel free to reach out. Shoot us an email. I will um, put our contact information below. And also head over to our channel. We have a handful of playlists talking all about everything you want to know about moving to or living in or real estate in our area. And we'll see you next week.